Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jordan Taylor and I am doing a video that has been requested today. Well, it hasn't been requested today, but it was requested a few months ago. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to make this video, but here we go. So I am wanting to make a video about how I take my press on nails off. Um, this is something that, like I said, was requested a few months ago. Um, someone commented and just said, hey, can you do a video showing us how you take them off? And I have gotten a few questions from people asking, hey, how do you take them off? How do you take them off in like a pain-free way? How do you take them off in a way that is good for your nails and isn't gonna damage your nails? I understand there are a lot of you out there who may have really brittle nails and just the thought of like ripping this off might like send you into like a panic of anxiety and everything but um i will just show you today how i take my nails off i do tend to have more thin nails like when i don't have my nails done or anything if i bump my nail against something usually it hurts or like it bends or it breaks pretty easily my nails break all the time so all of you out there who are struggling with brittle thin nails, I hear you, I feel you, I am here for you, and we are gonna get through this together. <laughs> also, I wanted to kind of talk about these nails. I've kind of been thinking about them a lot, and I saw them first, I think, at Walmart, and then I didn't buy them, and then I ended up going back and because I couldn't stop thinking about them. I was like, oh my gosh, these nails are so freaking cute. So I don't know why, but I'm really into this green color. I don't know why, I'm just kind of obsessed with it. I personally really like this one because it has like the matte green and then it has a shiny like neon looking green. Um, I guess you could call that neon. It's almost like a holographic type look. And then they have some other little gold nails in it. Now these are not the Impress nails, but um, these do come with the mega adhesive tabs and they do come with the glue So I'm probably gonna try these out soon. Let me know if you want to see a video on me Putting these nails on I think I'm gonna try them with glue because I've tried the mega adhesive tabs and these Kiss nails and these aren't like the impress nails so the I feel like the mega adhesive tabs are a little bit different I have tried that method before with the kiss brand not the impress. I know that impress is by kiss but these are not the impress. So I have tried the mega adhesive tabs that are included with the non-impress nails, and I didn't have the best experience with them. They kind of fell off after I started like doing dishes and stuff like that. They just started like getting really loose and a couple of them just kind of popped off. So I think I'm gonna try the glue when it comes to the nails that are not the impress nails. Um, like I said, I know that Kiss makes both the impress and these, um, but like I said, I think with these, since they're not impress and the mega adhesive tabs are not already on the nail, which I've had really good luck with, um, since these are not the impress brand, I think I'm going to try the glue with these and just see how they go. I also really liked this color. I saw this. This is a, again, it's a matte green. It's like a hunter green, whatever you want to call it, winter green, I don't even know. It's just like a dark green. I don't know why I'm really into it. Like I'm, I'm here for that color. I don't know why it makes me feel very fall and I don't know. I just really like the green for some reason all of a sudden. I don't know what is up with me. I don't know why I'm like all of a sudden into green, but I've never had green nails before ever. Um, I don't know why, I'm just really into it. But again, these have the matte green with the gold nails um, for like a little accent nail, like on your ring finger, your pointer, whatever you wanna do, maybe the middle finger, you know. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a video for you on me trying out a set of these nails. So I was actually thinking about just doing a video every time I do my nails, whether it's the Kiss brand, you know, the non-impressed nails with the glue, or it's the impressed nails, you know, whatever set I have, whatever set I'm gonna do for that week, I was thinking about just making a video every time I do it. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me every time I do a set, just so you can see all the different sets I have in my collection. 
I have a very big collection right now of nails that I'm so excited to try. Like, so, so, so excited. I love these nails. I love the Kiss brand. I love that they make, you know, these type of nails that come with the glue. I love that they have the impress nails. I love that they even have the impress pedicure nails, which I have used a couple times in the summer. And I, I love it. I've loved everything so far and I am continuing to learn and improve my methods. And that way I get a better wear out of my nails. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know if you want me to start doing like all my nails on a video, like a video every time I do a set. Um, let me know. Also, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping in today and watching this video. It really means so, so, so much to me. Like, I don't think I can ever express to you guys how much it means to me that you come by, you watch my videos, you leave a comment, you give me a thumbs up. You know, I've, I've actually been getting quite a few subscribers in the last couple months and I haven't really been as active on YouTube, which unfortunately I've just been super busy, you know, making excuses, blah, blah, blah whatever. Life just kind of happens and gets in the way. But I have some really exciting news, which I will do another video on. Um, but it's just kind of like a big life update. A lot of things have changed in my life recently. And I have a lot more time to devote to you guys and creating content and making videos. And I'm so, so, so excited for that. I'm so excited to be giving you guys more content that you want to see um, and hopefully helping you guys out. I hope you guys can always have some sort of takeaway from all of my videos because it really means a lot to me to be here in the YouTube community and to be building a YouTube family and to be building a community of you know, people who enjoy sharing tips with each other and enjoy getting value from other people and just learning things. I mean, we're all in this together. You know, we're all just kind of going through life trying to figure it out as we go. And I, that's why I love YouTube so much. And I love like being able to create content and talk to you guys and hear what you guys like and what you guys want to see because we're all helping each other out. And like you guys leaving me suggestions or whatever, like that helps me too. Like it's not just me trying to help you guys, like you guys are helping me too. And so that really means a lot to me. So I just wanted to kind of add that in there. Like seriously, um, the biggest of um, thank yous go out to all of you guys who stop by, watch my videos. Um, like I said, engage with me and I, I am so thankful for that. I am also so, so, so thankful for all of you that have subscribed. Um, I am now over 100 subscribers, so thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you who um, enjoy my videos and want to stick around and see more of my content. You guys are amazing. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you so much. With that being said, um, if you are new, welcome. Um, my videos are all about just anything that has to do with beauty. I'm really big on fashion. I have a fashion blog, which I'll link that down below. I'm really big on Instagram. I mean, I'm not saying I'm big on Instagram cause I'm not, I'm not, I don't have millions of followers. I'm not saying that. Um, but I'm just saying I like me personally, I'm big on Instagram because I love Instagram. So definitely follow me on Instagram. If you guys are on Instagram, um, please like this video if you enjoy what you are seeing so far. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Um, like I said, you guys are awesome for stopping by and checking this out. Um, so yeah, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, that really helps get my videos out there so more people can view my content. And then also please subscribe so you guys can stay in the know and like stay updated on everything I post. Um, so yes, please subscribe, hit that notification bell like this video and please leave a comment. Say hi, go downstairs and say, hey, like drop me something. Give me a little love. Um, it's much appreciated. So thank you guys so much. Okay, so without further ado, um, sorry about my rant. Let's get into the video about how I take these nails off. I've actually been wearing these nails since, let's see, I put them on on Thursday. I did a live on Instagram and put my nails on while I was eating breakfast and it is now Tuesday and they have been holding strong. I have washed the dishes, I've given my son a bath, I've showered, washed my hair, like I've carried heavy boxes in for my car. I had to go get some winter coats and carried that in. Um, so yeah, like I haven't lost a nail, they haven't been falling off, nothing like that. Like 
These are the Impress Nails by Kiss. They are amazing. I cannot rave enough about them. I love, 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 love them. Okay, so the one thing I do wanna add though is I noticed today, so sometimes your hair gets caught like in the back. I don't know if it's like a manufacturer thing or if it's maybe like user error, maybe I didn't press it down hard enough initially when I first put them on. But every once in a while I'll get a set where if I kind of like run my hair or run my hand through my hair, like it'll just get caught in the back, like close to where your nail meets your skin kind of, like your the bottom of your nail bed essentially. Um, so I did just notice that I do have like a little chip. I hope you guys can see that. It's like right here. It just kind of chipped off here. Focus. You guys see that? That little chip. So yeah, that's the only thing that I've had an issue with though with these nails. I've kind of had enough of them though. I'm ready to take these off. I like to not have anything on my nails for like a few days at a time, sometimes a few weeks at a time. It just really depends on like what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. But it is good to like make sure you give your nails a break from like fake nails or acrylic or whatever, just so your nails can kind of like breathe and you can like, you know, maybe like file them down a little bit or put some like cuticle oil on them um, and like give them like a nail strengthener, a hardener. Every once in a while I use a, um, like a polish, but it's like a nail strengthener. Like it's for your nails, your natural nails to like help them grow and help them stay strong, prevent them from breaking, things like that. So if you wanna know what I use, let me know and I will include that. Maybe I'll just go ahead and include it down in the um, description box, just so you guys know what I use. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. I will show you how I take my nails off. I'm just using an old box of nails and I'm just wanting to just kind of read the directions here just to like make sure that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but it says here it has like a little removal section and it just says gently peel off from sides or dab polish remover between natural nail and the impressed nail. Wait one minute then peel off. If needed, use manicure stick to help in removal. So I just got this manicure stick out of the old box of nails. So that's why I had the old box of nails. So I just need, so really all you need is some uh, polish remover. If you prefer polish remover, I usually use it just to take off any residue that's left on my natural nail. This is just um, by, it's, I think it's by Qtex. Cutex. It's a nourishing, fast acting, enriched formula. It's supposed to be like more nourishing for your nail, so I like to use this. And then I have one cotton pad. I have wide tweezers. They're not the super fine tipped ones, they're pretty wide. And then I have my little stick here. So usually what I do is I will just take the nail from the bottom corner here and just lift up a corner. You wanna start at the bottom of the nail, not at the top and peel. Like you don't wanna start up here and peel back. You wanna start from the bottom and peel forward, if that makes sense. And so I feel like this, this is like the less damaging way to remove these nails. This doesn't really bother me. It doesn't damage my nails. Like I said, I have thin nails and it doesn't damage them or anything like that, so. So yeah, I just grab it with the tweezers and literally pull it off. And like, it comes off so easy. So that's just, and there's like virtually no residue left. So if you, if you wanted to, you could take your little cotton pad and some nail polish remover. And you could literally just like, kind of hold it on the nail and kind of like, kind of get it a little sloppy wet and then get all around the nail. And then it says to wait a minute and then peel it off. I personally don't feel like this is necessary because the nails normally peel off so easily for me. I usually don't have any issue getting them off. Unless I wear them like a couple days and take them off, I usually don't have any trouble. Like 
I've been wearing these nails for like four or five days now. And so they come off really easily because I've been doing things in them and they just kind of like break down after a while. So, so then once that's done, I just, like I said, peel the bottom corner up and then just peel forward. And it comes off so easy. And this, this literally takes me like maybe three minutes to do. It doesn't take long at all. And sometimes they do stick a little bit more, but I, it never damages my nail to the point where I would not do this again. So I like to use tweezers because if I were to use my thumbnail to pry this up, sometimes my nail actually bends back because like I said, they're so thin and it is, it does take a little bit of force to peel these off. I mean, not too much, but it does just take a little bit of strength. So I prefer to use tweezers than my actual nails because I don't want to just damage them any further. But like I said, peeling these off with the tweezers, I personally don't think is damaging. I think it's fine. And so that is how I take them off. And so then usually once I finish peeling them all off, I just get a little bit of nail polish remover and I just make sure all of that adhesive from the adhesive tabs is gone. Cause sometimes you do have leftover and that's it. Um, I do really like this by Q-Tex because it actually smells pretty good. Like it doesn't smell as strong as normal nail polish remover or acetone. It actually has like a sweet smell to it. So I personally like that more, but that is it. That is how I remove my nails. All right, that is it for my video today. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see some more nail sets done by me. And let me know if you have any other suggestions or if you'd like to see any other videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys. It's not for me to say you.